really this is just a, a warning that you will likely be seeing less and less videos from me this year. Um, the first two years, I think I uploaded, I think in the first year I uploaded upwards of 200 videos. Like half of my videos came in the first year. And this year, I believe I'm on pace for about 60. Not even. So, yeah, there's, there's definitely been a decline there. And I'm going to have to uh, recalculate how to uh, fix my my verbal conundrum here. And by verbal conundrum, I basically just mean a new imaginary standard of speaking for myself. And that every sequence of words that I'll ever say from now on needs to sound perfect in my own mind. And if it's even slightly off, I will delete the file immediately. It's just the way I'm wired lately, I don't know. But um, until then, until I fix this um, mental disability, um, here's my blog TV thingy of why I hate Sexy Phil. Enjoy. Okay, here's the deal on why I hate SXE Phil. I don't bother calling him SXE Phil because it's a pla it, it His name is a double on. No, it's not a double entendre, but it, it, it's a play on words, okay? He just wants you to say SXE Phil so that you'll end up saying Sexy Phil anyway, so I just call him Sexy Phil. Okay, he's a dick in that respect that he tries to trick you into saying something that you don't want to say. And then, he, he just reminds me of the kind of guy who, as a kid, he was... His, his parents kept forcing him to do stuff that he didn't want to do, and eventually, instead of fighting that, he just kind of embraced it and let his parents fuck with him and do stuff. And he eventually, like, either landed up uh, in some homeless shelter or <laughs> on on a on one of those really really terrible kids news shows where they like there's all this stupid colorful crap everywhere that's that's not necessary and like the desks are made of play-doh and you know he's like they're they're doing commentary on news that no one cares about like fake crap like Barney the dinosaur got several speakers shoved up his ass or something and just the pointless news stories that that are over edited and over produced and he just reminds me of that guy who who as a kid was on one of those shows and was really good at them good in parentheses and <laughs> everyone looked up to him because of that and then he took his stupid craft to other places where he was rejected time and time again because he can't hold a coherent thought for more than two seconds without editing it short so he has to fucking take it to YouTube which was new at the time and he took his craft there to where he can edit the fuck out of his videos so where he doesn't look like he's a complete imbecile so yeah I, I just fucking hate sexy Phil he just annoys me like just the way he presents himself too the way he, he begs for money every time he gets in a little bit of a, of a financial rut because he knows that people are stupid enough to get away with it. Like, I know the people are stupid, but I don't take advantage of their stupidity. That's just... it. I don't know. It just... whatever. I'm not sub to him. I will never be sub to Sexy Phil, ever. He's like the, he's a big part, he's a big portion of why mainstream uh, kids network, like kids shows and stuff have been dumbed down to the point where everything, no one has the competence to animate anymore besides like Spongebob, that's it. Like all the, think of the kids shows that you grew up with when you were young, okay? How many of them do you remember were live action? Not that many. The ones that stuck out in your mind are the are the animated ones. And for some reason, nowadays there is no animated kid shows. They're all fucking live action stupid crap that are totally forget forgettable and <clears throat> Sexy Phil is a big portion of that. I I'm dead serious. Fucking sweet life of Zack and Cody. Oh, so funny, cool, dumb fucking ugh. He is the Hannah Montana of YouTube. All done. Next question.
No, they. <laughs> he's the reason why YouTube is nothing but dumb sh like people like me. I guess, kind of like me, d talking to their webcams about crap that doesn't matter. But I at least broaden my horizons to more than just talking to a webcam. I try and make stuff when I'm on YouTube. I think of YouTube as more than just a, a, a financial money grab and more of a way to release my creativity. Okay, I'm done talking about sexy film now. Shane Dawson, same deal, just bigger audience, dumber people and uh, <laughs> a, a stupider personality. I mean, I'll give, sh I'll give Sexy Phil one thing. He doesn't seem like a stupid guy, okay? He's taken advantage of a lot of opportunities to, to grab money from people because he's smart enough to recognize when he can. Shane Dawson is not that smart. He's <laughs> a, a floundering idiot trying to get money <laughs> from even bigger idiots. And the smart people recognize it and don't even bother with them. Now the raw file of the little blog TV thing cuts off there, but I did want to add one thing that wasn't included that I think is actually uh, my main point here, is the reason why I said that Sexy Phil is the Hannah Montana of YouTube, is because YouTube, because of him, has now become a TV show tryout. It's basically become the the farm ground for budding D-list faggot actors who can't take their balls out to the actual real world to an actual talent agency and you know throw their hat in the ring and, and try out with the rest of the big boys. You want proof? Look no further than the station and Fred on iCarly.